You've probably heard the saying, don't put all of your eggs in one basket. Well, this is especially applicable to your personal finances. Diversifying your income provides you with a stronger personal safety net in case you're fired or hit with an unexpected emergency. Plus, at the risk of sounding too obvious, having multiple income streams also helps your earning potential. So today I'm going to break down eight ways to build wealth with the opportunities already around you. Sorry, Sumalings, this isn't a get rich quick video, but we do have some innovative money making opportunities that could reinforce your safety net. So let's dive in. Our first tip is to sell your skills as a freelancer. You don't have to be one of the top performers in your craft. You just have to be better than the person you're helping. Beginner freelancers looking for work can connect with their first projects through their network, freelancing sites like Upwork, or by cold pitching to relevant companies. And once you've been freelancing for a bit, a pro tip is to upsell your services. It's almost always easier to retain a client than score a new one. So when you complete a project or create a proposal, throw in an upsell for another service, course, program, or tiered offering. The client may not bite, but if they do, that's more cash money for your bank account. Tip number two, create and sell your own physical or digital product. For the former, you can sell locally through Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, or expand your reach with an online e-commerce store on Etsy or Shopify. You might even consider promoting your products for free on hauldrop.com. Alternatively, you can monetize your smarts with digital products like online courses and eBooks. AppSumo has a few tools in our store to give you a hand with your curriculum, including Teachable Use free online program designed to help you create a compelling virtual course. All right, this next tip goes out to all of the Sumalings who aren't as creatively inclined. Tip number three is resell. There are loads of options here. First, there's a huge industry of resellers on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, and eBay who find vintage, luxury, or name brand items at garage sales, auctions, and thrift stores to resell online at a significant markup. You can also sell someone else's products with your killer marketing skills. This can be done a few ways. There's drop shipping, when you become the middleman between a supplier of a product and a buyer. Or you can participate in a company's affiliate program and receive generous kickbacks when you help score them a sale. AppSumo has one of these. There's also self-advertising space in the form of yard billboards, paid ads on your vehicle, or advertisers on your blog, YouTube channel, or podcast. And for the commitment phobes out there, you can rent the things you already own to others. You already know that you can list a spare bedroom on Airbnb, but you can also rent or sell your stuff on Fat Llama and lease your bike on Spin Lister. Tip number four, try gig work. This includes running errands, delivering food, and other super helpful services. You've probably heard of or even used Uber, Postmates, and TaskRabbit, but there are a few unconventional ways to find gig work as well. You can check Craigslist and local forums for informal gig work like cooking, organizing, and nannying. You name it, someone will probably hire you to do it. You can also scour job sites for part-time work, reach out to online influencers and entrepreneurs about assistant jobs, or even join Circus to get paid to party. Tip number five, invest for long-term wealth. Investing in the stock market or real estate won't put immediate money in your pocket, and you might actually lose some. But if you're in this for long-term financial success, then investing is for you. And if you have the capital, you may find house flipping to be a fun hobby. Now, Zuma links, you may have noticed I am not a financial advisor, but I can advise you to make personal finance and investment decisions with the help of a certified financial expert. Tip number six, use high interest savings accounts. Every financial advisor will tell you to have a three to six month emergency fund. And some banks will even give you a bonus just for letting your money sit there. With high interest savings account from VO Bank, Gateway First Bank, and Capital One, you'll be rewarded for sticking to your savings goals. Tip number seven, cut down your expenses. I know, I know, it's way more fun to talk about how you can make money, but one key to having more money is to spend less of it. So first, you'll wanna use apps like Truebill to help you cut down your monthly expenses by locating hidden subscriptions you might have forgotten about. And connect your bank account with Mint to keep track of where your money goes every month. Did you know that you can negotiate some of your expenses too? 
So as soon as you work up the courage to get on the phone, you can save hundreds on your cell phone bill, internet bill, and much, much more. Next, pay off your credit cards. For many, the best investment you can make is paying off your debt, especially credit card debt. You can approach this in a couple ways, either by paying off the high interest card first or by tackling your lowest balance cards first and using that momentum to pay off the next one and the next one. And finally, tip number eight, get lifetime deals instead of monthly subscriptions. You probably noticed during the last tip that monthly subscriptions add up. AppSumo is on a mission to make sure that software you need to run your business never puts you out of business. And that's why we've ditched the lofty monthly subscriptions for massively discounted lifetime deals. It's all about saving you buckets of money in the long term. Sumo Links, we'd love to hear about your side hustles and how you're diversifying your income. Let us know your favorite strategy in the comments. And if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel. Telling virtual course. I got to start that over again. And lease your bike or... Oh.